Now, how do you edit the post processor? We're just going to give you a brief, you know, couple of steps how to get into the post process generator dialog. If you look at your uh, select post processor dialog, and this will display when you pick post uh, from the program tab in your CAM plugin. So if you just to load the post process generator, select, make sure you have the correct post selected from the current post processor list. Pick the edit button to the right of your selected post and the post processor generator dialog uh, will display. And we'll be looking at this uh, dialog in detail during the demo portion uh, of the webinar. But basically you have various sections here on the left select these sections and there's uh, there's logs for each one of these areas. Installing a custom post. Let's go up here to the uh, post tab. If you have a, like we've talked through this entire uh, hour here about where are your post definition files. You need to know where they are. Um, if you don't know where they are, you need to ask us and we'll tell you where they are by default. But if you don't know where they are by default, just open this dialog and this folder to, lo to load post processor files from. This path will point to the location of where the uh, 300 or so posts are located um, in the file uh, browser inside of Windows. Um, so if you installing a custom post, you may have placed it in a different location, such as your desktop or whatever. Uh, we've got a different location uh, assigned here for the post that we're using for this webinar. So you just pick the three buttons. It'll come up with a post folder uh, dialog. You can uh, you know, navigate through this to get to the exact folder uh, where your post processor files are. So put your custom post in that folder. Point uh, Rhino Cam to that folder here and pick OK and then your post will show up uh, in this list. Okay.